Hey guys, back again, and today I thought just do some gameplay on Wreckfest. Um, haven't done much gameplay of this up on the channel. I think there's like two videos up, and uh, so yeah, I figured I'd do some more. Really enjoy this game to be honest with you guys. Um, yeah, I really. What was I gonna say about this? I had someone gonna say. That's it. Yeah. Um. Uh, sorry guys, I'm not with it in a minute, but yeah, basically, um, I broke my rule with this game, guys, I've bought some of the DLC, but the DLC is quite cheap, uh, only £3 just over for the DLC packs, and I haven't bought them all at once, but there's one of the DLC cars, which is really cool, and the monster truck and so on and so forth, but you know, um, I really do enjoy this game anyway, so you know, that's the only reason I did it, and the, at the end of the day, you know, I don't think they're going to bring out a Game of the Year edition for this, but if they do, I will definitely pick it up, because I love the game that much, and uh, so yeah, you know, the cards are awesome, like the you know, General East, I had a pig car here, awesome, but um, yeah, I mainly wanted the hearse and all that, I don't know where that is right now, that's next to the cop car, so yeah, cop car here guys, looks really cool, American style, you know, generic style cop car, and then obviously you've got the British hearse, So, yeah, we'll try the old hearse out, guys. Let's put as many opponents on as we can. Shit, didn't know it went all the way around and stopped again. So, 23. Yeah. I want mixed if I can. Can we go mixed? Yeah, we can. Good. I don't like to have the same class because I find mixed is just better, in, in, just in general. The AI is on expert, guys, and stuff. So, yeah, let's... Um, Budget to get on with it, but you know I'll do I'll do a fair good gameplay I can on it, guys. So I'll probably be on it for like an hour, uh, maybe a little bit less. You know, if the gameplay just stops, guys, it's because I hit the hour anyway. But if not, you know, when I'll end it out. But I'll, you know, I'll, I'll try to do at least two or three races because the game is so much fun, and uh, you know, it has a little bit of problems online, guys. Um, like you get a little bit of lag sometimes, and you know they only allow you to have up to like seven or eight players online, whereas as you could see you can have like twenty three offline. So you know, but the game's amazing. I kind of wish that you know they they do some more games like this. Um, for me, I I'm putting this this actual. I don't know if you call it racing, really. Is it racing? It's more like Destruction Derby. I still I still put it in racing though. For me, this is in number one for me. Out of all the racing games I own, out of Need for Speed, out of Project Cars, uh, every th game I've got racing-wise, guys, this one is my number one game. Um, I literally love it that much. It's a lot of fun. I don't care if I come first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or anything. You know, the game is just so much fun. Like there, you know, I pull away slow, smash them all up on the way I come out. And you'll find that, you know, on expert difficulty, you, most of the cars don't make it back anyway, so, you know, it's a lot of fun. I know, I've already said it's a lot of fun, maybe 10, 20 bloody times already, but the game is, guys, it really is. It's so awesome, and I really hope they make a second one, or, you know, just make more like this games. These games are so much fun. I mean, I, I'll try and explain it, what makes it great for me. It's like, graphics are amazing, you know, they actually really went all out with the graphics the cars actually do look like modern day cars when they're you know stuck in a banger race form so they actually do look realistic the damage is fucking amazing like literally you won't find better damage in any other game the cars can get that disfigured that they literally don't even resemble a car and, you know, I appreciate all of that. That's amazing. I've been looking for a game like this for so long. When I used to watch it back when people was playing it on Steam, you know, I was high hopes for it ever getting a console release. When it finally did, guys, I was, you know, literally pre-ordered straight away. Couldn't wait. And, you know, I'd love to see a second one. And if anyone's asking why I'm not doing the loop-to-loop, -loop, it's because I suck at the loop-to-loop -loop and I'll crash and that'll be the end of the race. There's already a lot of cars out already. Which is a lot of fun, but like I said, the game is just amazing. It's everything and more you'd want in a game where, you know, destruction is the key, you know? And I like the fact that, you know, they didn't just, just you know, leave generic, like, six or seven different shape of cars and just change the colour of them and that, like, you know, they didn't just make it, like, shit where you, like, can knock off the bumper and then go, ooh, your radiator's blown and that, you know, they really went all out. And... 
You know, I just think a lot of people do not give enough appreciation for games that really do knock it out of the park. Now, for me, this game knocked it out of the park. I'd give this game 10 out of 10, and I think it's worth every penny. And the thing was, when it was released, it weren't even really that expensive. I think it was like 34 99 It's actually starting to creep up in price now. And it's worth every penny, guys. I'd pay 80 quid for this game. And I know that's me saying that, guys. Some people probably don't care about it. But me, I love it. I absolutely love this game. I can't say it enough. I really do. I would love them to bring out another one. And when I tell you guys that this is my number one racing game and all in all destruction game on the PlayStation 4, I ain't even joking, guys. It really is. I've put it in number one slot. I don't think anything will ever knock it off because... Don't get me wrong, there's games out there that's just as good as physics in like cars and great sounds and stuff. Like, you know, you've got your Fuzzle Motorsports on Xbox, you've got your Project Cars and Gran Turismo and stuff. Yeah, 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 it's fine and dandy, but this game brings more to the table for me. You know, it brings a element of you don't actually know who's going to win the race because the cars take themselves out. As you can see, I'm now missing a wheel. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to make it to the end. I put 20 laps on, guys, myself. You don't have to do 20 laps. You can do two, four, six, how many was it? But I, I thought I'd put it on that many just for the fun. You know, you never know if you're going to actually... Oh, that answers your question. <laughs> actually finish the race. But like I said, the game is amazing. I really enjoy it. And uh, I had to, like, just, you know, come on and do some more gameplay on it. Because I actually play this game a lot more than I, than I show. I play this game at least once a week, every single week. Even when I've got new games, I plug this game back in and I go on it at least once a week, guys. So, you know, this game's a lot of fun to me. I've beat the game, I've done everything there is to do in the game, and I still go back to it. It's just so much fun. Um, we'll try a different car. Look, this thing here is stupid, but it's so funny. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's, it's shit, like one hit, you're out. But, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. It goes with these style of cars. You know, so it's good. Um, well, I think we'll be... What should we be? We'll try the tuned car. I really like this car. It, it does actually look like a Nissan Skyline at the front. And then, same shape. It's a sh shape of a Nissan Skyline. But, basically, they couldn't get the license in for it. But I like the fact that they still look like the cars. Because when you go bang a race, as you do... The cars don't always look like they, you know, the road factory anyway, because they weld up the lights or they put them stickers over the lights. So it still does look like it's a really a skyline that someone's banger racing. You know, it's still fun. And like I said, I'd love them to bring out another one. But even if they didn't, yeah, this game gets so much play from me anyway. So, you know, it's just great. And if they did bring out another one, you know, take your time bringing it out again to, you know, m maximize this again. I mean, my favorite tracks, guys, are the ones like this or the ones with the stupid jumps and that. Like, I like them over the normal track race style ones. I'm not a fan so much of like the, um, you know, the road style track ones. I like these like, with the jumps and the bumps and all that lot because they're always crashing and shit. This just makes the game so much more fun. Now, like I said, I can only speak for myself when I say about this game, but I love it. I literally love it. And, uh, yeah, you know, I know I've said that in the winter times already, guys. I've said the game's amazing, I love it, blah, blah, blah. But it's just because I generally do, guys. I play it that much. It's fun. I'd love them to bring out, like I said, some more like this. Got a hearse in it, guys. We're going to bang into that. Whoa. Well, I've already smashed up my car, so... There's a van! I haven't bought the the van myself, guys. That's what I like about this as well, though. The DLC, yeah, I hate downloadable content. Everyone knows that. I am a massive hater on anything digital. But I'm not going to lie, guys. I bought some of the digital downloadable DLC for this. Because it weren't too badly priced, one. And two, I'm getting the use out of this. I literally... Look at the damage. It's so much fun really really is if i get wrecked guys i'll probably do this track a few times with this car because i like this track and it's a lot of fun then i'll move on to another track and that but yeah i really do like i said i mean i've played this game and said i'm only going to have an hour on it and literally five hours later i'm still there the only like I said, the only problem about the game really is the online um you can only have up to eight players 
I believe it's eight players anyway. And then on top of that, the, there's a little bit of lag. Not all the time, though. It's very rare it happens, you know. But when it happens, it does, you know. It's, it's, it's there and then it goes again. But that's not really something to be put off by the game. Because, like I said, the game is so much fun. And I'm really wrecked now. But, you know. Uh, look at the damage. And this isn't even the worst it could get. You know what I mean? This... If they implemented this style of damage into a normal car game like Project Cars and that, could you imagine the fun you'd have? It would also make the game more challenging though, because, you know, one accident and look, you're out. So, I don't know, I just... You know, people are probably going to sit there like, alright mate, alright, calm down, it's not that good of a game. But to me it is, guys, it really, really is. I waited so long for this game to come out. It's like now, guys, right? Um, I'm, I'm really happy about the game Cuphead, and I haven't got it, because obviously you've got to download the game. But I've seen so many people play it, and I really like the look at that game, and I'm, I'm, I've got high hopes that one day we're going to get Cuphead come out on disc. If we don't, unfortunately, then I'm going to miss out on that game, because I just can't... I don't like digital games. I just don't. I hate it with a passion. I hate it with a passion. They're just not... I'm a physical media person and if I don't get it physical I just don't buy it I just don't you know some people might go well you're an idiot then or blah 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 but it's my opinion guys isn't it at the end of the day some people might say the same thing about physical media some people might say the same thing about media altogether or you know you'll get people out there like you know waste your money on video games my god man how much are they 80 pounds and more and blah blah I uh, see you're gonna get naysayers and everything But at the end of the day, I'm just a physical media person, guys, so, you know. <clears throat> my wife has actually managed to get a pre-order on both the Xbox and PlayStation 5. The reason I haven't mentioned that, though, guys, is because um, it's just at the moment I can't mention it until, like, no, we've got one. Because at the minute, it's all stupidly in the air, isn't it? You know, you don't know if you've actually got one or not. Just because you've got it on pre-order... That, oh shit, right again, we'll do one more guys with this one and then we'll uh, change track and car and everything. But yeah, you, you don't know if you've actually got it yet or not, as you know, because they, just because you've ordered it, they know that the pre-orders are a little bit up and down at the minute, I don't know what's going on. It's one of the weirdest fucking console launches I've ever seen, to be honest. I've never seen something with such a shamble, you know, where you didn't know much about the console till the late last minute and then there. I've heard Xbox is really bloody overheating and shit. I'm like, again? Like, really? Like, what the fuck do these people do? You know what I mean? Do they all sit around the table and then it's like a magic trick, but they haven't really practiced it, and then when they do it, it's shit. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, there weren't no rush for the next generation of consoles, so how could they make a console and already it overheats? It's just so fucking stupid. How hard could it be to be like, we need to make sure our product is amazing in every way, shit. You know, we want the best games. We want it to be everything it could be. Not break for the start of getting it out the bloody box. But, I don't know. you think with something like Microsoft putting his name on that, he'd want it to be fucking awesome, but nope. It goes to say, though, with Sony, I mean, we'll have problems somewhere on the line, but it's expected. It, they, they never, ever come out the gate and, you know, royal flush it, as I say. It's always something. I mean, I was lucky. I've been very lucky so far, guys. All my consoles I've bought on launch have never gone wrong for me. Uh, my PlayStation 3, the fat one, the uh, 80 gig with the... Uh... No, I don't think it was 80. I think it was 60. My first one had the uh, flap and all that crap, you know, where you could put the chips and that, and played PlayStation 2 games and that, and at the time I thought all PlayStation 3s did that, and then after selling it and all that lot and realised they didn't, I was like, oh, what a dick. Ooh, that's a big ass dent. But, um, yeah, so that's the long and short of that. My, my PlayStation 2 was lucky and never, that never went wrong. Uh, some people had the problems where, you know, it would do that thing where it wouldn't play certain games, then it would, uh, overheat and stuff mine never did that luckily um, I got mine for Christmas of the year 2000 and then I actually had it all the way until the slimline came out and then we traded it in for a slimline one but never had any problems with it 
and you know as a kid I was back then you know you played it every day so you know really cool but then again guys I've always looked after my stuff um, I might be one of them you know geeks as they say or a fucking saddo as they say but I do clean my consoles out every week um, I get the you know the hoover to get the dust out because blowing the dust in makes it worse so you know I get the dust out of them and that but they ain't really often I get much dust in them where, where I've got them stored so it's pretty good and handy but I do clean them down and stuff you do look after them the best way you can people might laugh and say no but hell what the hell you know but they're not really that fucking cheap just to sit there and fuck up really are they and it's not just that nowadays it's a you know it's a lot of inconvenience it won't like PlayStation 2 days where you go up oh, well if it broke got a new console my memory card still works now it's all on hard drives and fucking this, that and the other and you lose your data, you know, you lost all your progress and shit, so for fuck's sake. I have read that, you know, the PlayStation 5, your save saved data on here ain't gonna fucking work on there and that's just like, well, I don't know. But, you know, I'm happy with the 99% backwards compatibility though, you know. Uh, a bit random though, I have noticed the games that aren't gonna be backwards compatible. Uh, one being... Isle of Man TT Ride of Edge 2. Uh, only two though. Uh, do they mean one will work, but two won't? I don't understand why, but. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah. Oh, another thing, guys, is I have um, got Ride 4 now. I just haven't unboxed it and I haven't um, done a gameplay on it yet. So, we will be getting around to doing that. But anyway. So yeah, really cool. But we're moving on, guys. Try a different track out. Try a different car out, like I said. But you know, I would love to put more gameplay of games I really enjoy playing up. But I don't want people to get bored. That's why I play so much Call of Duty. I enjoy it, guys. We're gonna do this this track. I love this one. The, the shape is a bit, you know, like uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll try this car out. Oh, but I think I've got a sneeze. Let me just turn off the sneeze. <coughs> wow! Man, are you... Not? I, I charged... Well, well, I'm, not, I'm not playing a game, I don't want to sneeze. I will turn the bike off, guys. I don't, I don't want to deafen people. But at the end of the day, yeah, when you sneeze and you play a game, like, you know, my head feels like I was in a fishbowl. It's like, true, And it's like, dang. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I really don't, but yeah, I'll try to think of what else I, I had a lot of things I was going to say when I was doing this game play, guys, and I completely forgot, that's just, just typical me, like a straight over the top of the head, you know, <laughs> gone, I had also realised, because I put a game play up in a couple of days, it's just been, I've been, um, been quite ill recently, I've had a, uh, uh Problems. I mean, I've got. I suffer with stomach problems as it is with my um, my anxiety levels and that so bad. It's giving me uh, severe acid problems in my stomach. So, uh, yeah, I suffer with acid problems now in my stomach. So that sucks. But you know, all these doctors and people out there that think they know better, you know, they uh, you know, these people are like, oh, you should do this. You should. It's like they noticed that the COVID shit. Then I go, you should go out for staying indoors, makes your mental health worse. And then the second sentence, like you've got to stay in. Make up your fucking mind. Absolutely stupid, guys. Oh, another thing, another thing I was just wanted to mention, guys, is um, I'm getting a VR again. I'm not gonna say too much about it, because obviously when it comes, I'll do an unboxing on the channel. Uh, but I know people have already done unboxing, so I probably won't unbox the whole thing. I'll just want to give a gist and tell people what I'm going to be doing with it, why I've got it and stuff, so yeah, but stay tuned for that guys, when it arrives I'll uh, I'll do all that, look at that mad molly, I don't think so, shit, oh, how would she manage down the road, not now she ain't, oh whoa, lucky, what, let's see if we can knock her off of the bridge, Oh, what? Oh, that's not even funny, mate. Which way is she going? Well, we're going to go this way. We're going to smash into her. Just because she's an asshole. Well, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Yes! There, you didn't get away from me that. What the fuck? 
man, that is absolutely preposterous. Did you see that? I bashed it and she just, like, just flipped me over, but, you know. <clears throat> but, yeah, guys, I do have a lot of stuff to um, be doing on the channel. If I do get my PlayStation 5 and the Xbox on launch, guys, I will do an unboxing on the channel. Bollocks. Let's do that one more time. Yeah, we'll do an unbox on the channel, guys, if I do get it on launch. Like I said, I'm not going to mention too much about it at the moment because I don't even know. Just because it says I've got my pre-order, that doesn't mean I've got my pre-order, as everyone is finding out. People are getting them cancelled. People ain't getting them all and stuff. So, you know, I'll just, well, I'm just going to play it by ear on that one, guys. But if I do end up getting it, you know, I will do an unboxing of it and stuff like that. I'm hoping that it'll be easy to stream games like it is on the PlayStation 4, like I'm doing right now, guys. So, you know, really, really easy to do. Hopefully, if they change that, I'll be a little bit buggered, obviously, because I haven't got a capture card or nothing yet, guys. I will be getting one at some point. I'm not too sure how to use it with ease. I'm not going to say, like, oh, it's easy, just plug it in, off you go. No, I, don't, I actually, I am a little bit um, sick of shit when it comes to stuff like that, a little bit. I've got to, I've got to figure it out. I've seen some videos on the YouTube on, like, how to set up and even that's like, okay, I kind of get how you do it, you know, I'm like, I'm 50-50 with it, you know, so we're going to we're gonna try it, trial and error, you know, because I do want to make some gameplays for my Switch, guys, now my Switch mainly will be Mario content, I love Mario Maker and I love like, you know, Mario Smash Brothers and stuff like that, it, it's just amazing, so I will be doing a lot of gameplay stuff like that, but you know, I won't be doing like, oh shit, the same thing, so I think, right, let's try a different track, guys, but I love that track, amazing. So, yeah, but like I said, you know, I've got a lot of things I, I do want to be, um, you know, doing when I can. I just haven't got around to doing it all at this moment in time, guys, but like I said, I will unbox them. I know everybody else will unbox them, so, you know, it's not going to be something new that... You know, people are going to be like, yeah, ooh, can't wait to see that. I know everyone's done it. Some people have already, like, you know, there's a teardown of one on the um, YouTube now. I watched that quite fascinating. But again, you know, it's like, bloody yeah, there's a lot of shit to that, isn't there? Um, I think we're going to do the track where you come back on yourself. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. And let's do the pig car, guys. Killer pig, can't beat it. Strength is shit on this car, but it is so much fun. So, but yeah, um, so yeah, if you do want to see that, guys, I will be doing that anyway. If, if um, you know, I get it on launch, I can't say no more than that because you know, I know as much as you guys know at this moment in time, which is you know, you get the confirmation saying that you've your pre order was successful and blah blah blah, but you know, then it comes down to you know, your name's not actually on that bloody box, is it? You know, what I mean, they get two million pre orders of thousand consoles you know a lot can happen in that time you know the cargo with a bloody playstation team could blow up or bloody crash or anything see what i'm saying guys you could never just know i'll only know when i've got it in my hand i'm at home with it and then i'll know i've got it and then obviously i'll unbox it but if not guys if not you know like i said i weren't too fussed about getting on their launch anyway but my wife managed to get a pre-order so i was like well you know we've got it we'll, we'll go with it you know, I'm not going to sit there saying, no, I don't really care, you know what I mean, you know, because of course I do, I'm a gamer, you know, I love my video games, but at the end of the day, guys, you know, I had a lot of questions that still haven't been answered about the console yet, but, you know, I'm still, I'm still rather excited about it, you know, real life tracing and that lot, games are already look better on it than they do on here, not by much, but by a little, and you've got to think, if that's what the launch is going to be like, just give them time to uh, work with the... Uh, you know, the ray tracing and all that lot, and I think we, by two or three years, the cycle of the PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox, I think we're going to see some really fucking amazing games, I really do. Oh, shit. Why did he do that? He do not know what he's doing, man. He's all over the road. Oh, we just had an that's what I like about the AI in this game, you know, it is random, you know, you'll get that one reckless bastard, you'll get that one that don't know how to drive, and then you'll just get the one that's like a professional, but he gets taken out as well. I keep hitting my pig. Ooh. Man, we're down to 5% health already. How far can we go, guys? I'm going to try really hard not to hit anything to, to see how long we can last with 5% health. 
I'm looking on the map, see if anything's coming, which is not Now, this is where it'll make or break me. I've got to, like, get around this bit quite quick. Take my time coming out, though. Not to get hit on the way out. There we go. How many laps can I get in before I am wrecked? There's a lot of games on the PlayStation 5 that guys go back to that uh, that I'm looking forward to. Um, Spider-Man, uh, again, really excited about that. A lot of people aren't too excited about it because they said that it's going to be a short uh, game and stuff. That doesn't bother me. That does not bother me. It shouldn't be the length of a game that, that you buy it for. I mean, look at fighting games, guys. Punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch, kick, kick, KO. It's over, you know what I'm saying? People buy it for... The fun you get from it, not, you know, and I don't want to sound, you know, fucking cliche with it and be like, you know, it's all about the game, you know what I'm saying? It is though, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's about the fun you get out of the game. It shouldn't not be about the length of it, you know, if you enjoyed it and you're going to play it again and again and again, then, you know, I don't see the point into why you should be like, oh, I'm going to boycott that game because it's only going to be four hours long. I mean, the filming, even that, yeah, it's a lot more money, but it's you doing it, you know, it's as long as you want it to be when you're running around anyway. I think it's a great game, and I'm going to be picking that one up. I'm definitely going to be picking up um, Sackboy Adventure. That looks fun. I know it's coming to the PS4, and I want to get it out of the way now, guys. How many people are going to be doing the uh, buy it for both while it's available? I probably will, because I've learned that when a new generation console comes out, and they move on to that and do not pick it up for like the PS4. For example, game games become and you want to have a good collection for your games on PlayStation 4. Then, you know, because I think this is the console that, along with my PS3 and PS4, you know, I don't ever want to sell these games. They're, the con they're games I built up in the time when me and my wife had money to do buy them when they came out we were lucky that way we've got such a big collection to do whereas the retro consoles guys see i'd sold them back way way before and because when i was a kid at the time and my parents thought out with the old and with the new sort of thing so when it came to the retro games guys you know i had to literally start them again and um i didn't really get far before financial problems came with the COVID shit starting and that. But if people remember, if you go back on my channel guys, you'll see I started buying games really early this year. Back in January and December I had um, games for the PlayStation 1 and I was excited and I was happy to start but then I didn't expect that in March we'd go into a lockdown and financial shit and all of that so you know, uh, yeah, but I probably will start retro buying again, guys. I'm going to look at it a little bit different when I start again. And instead of, like, showing you what I've picked up, I'll probably just do monthly... A monthly pickup, guys, you know, or, or, or a little bit further than that. Maybe every six months I'll show you what I've picked up for all the consoles and do separate videos like that. That might be just better for me to do it that way, as well as, you know, show people that's interested in what I picked up. But that'll be next year now, guys, when I start doing that. Because at the moment, like I said, there's a lot of shit just going on and out. And everyone's in the same boat at the moment. We've all got that bloody boat with a hole in the fucking bottom and no shit. <laughs> yeah, a hole in the bottom and no paddle to go with. So, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. We actually went a lot further than I thought on that one. I think I made second place. Because, oh, I mean, the other car was still going, just weren't moving. We'll do, so, we'll do a couple more, guys, and then, like I said, I'll end the gameplay there. I know I'm trying to do as much as I can for this game as well, though, because, like I said, it's really enjoyable. I'm, I mean, I, I, I'd imagine by now that everybody knows what this game is anyway, because it is an amazing game. And people, you keep saying that, mate. You keep saying it over and over again. I know, dude. It's good, isn't it? Should we say it again? <laughs> Okay. I don't know what track I want to do. Let's have a look. What's that one? I have to figure of eight there. Not figure of eight, the bloody oval. Figure of eight. We haven't really done a track one. Let's do a track one, guys. I don't know what car. What about the road cutter? Let's go with that. I know it's not really a road car, but I don't, I don't care. It's fun. 
But, you know, like I said, guys, I mean, I really, I, I know I keep saying it over and over and over again, but, you know, I can't really think of any other words to say apart from this game. I really do enjoy it that much. Um, don't really play it online too much. I play more like this. But, you know, the game is just so much fun. I mean, because you don't, like I said, you d don't know what you're going to do. You know what I mean? I mean, I've seen obviously on PC, they can mod it. You know, they've got modded cars, modded tracks, and blah, 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 blah. Which makes the game even more fun. You know, if they made it a modded community to this game, I mean, oh my God, the limits are endless. But at the end of the day, I don't even care if they did or they didn't. I mean, I know they do that for the farming simulator games, and that's amazing as well. They do that. That's really cool. And that makes them games a lot more fun to play, especially like when you can add mud and stuff to the vehicles. I really like that. So, yeah, but, yeah, it ain't often I'll come out and state that I put a game in a certain slot, you know, I normally say, you know, some of my top 50 games or some of my top games, it's just an amazing game, whatever, but this one is my number one racing game, I really, I really do say that, I really do mean it, you know, I really do say that, I gotta tell you, some of the things that come out of my mouth, I could, I know, guys, it, 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 it even, it, you know, amazes me how stupid I am sometimes. <laughs> Fuck it, uh, trust me, I don't know. I ain't got that hot, hot, hot. Fucking here we go again. Hot, hot, hot. Blah, blah, blah. You're still doing it, dumbass. Forget it. Hot rod. Yeah, that. I ain't got that yet. I'm denting my car looking at the fucking hot rod. Ooh. Shit. We're going to get absolutely wrecked here. Yeah. That'll buff out. All you need is some tea cut, and you'll never see. Oh, he needs more than tea cut. <laughs> oh dear, your van got fucked in there. Ooh. Oh, look at that. In front of my engine stick now. Shit, I thought the corner was there. Turns out it was a wall. Anyway. So, yeah, I know, like I said, guys, I'm probably talking a lot of shit to this one. I, 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 you know, if I keep repeating myself, I am sorry, guys. If you ever make fucking... Oh, shit. Right, you know what? We're going to restart this one, guys. I, I messed up real bad on that one. As I'll say again, guys, if you are one of these people that make content and it's not pre-recorded content, you know, you are literally going live and you're talking and you don't edit it, you, you'll find you repeat yourself over and over again. A lot of us do it and... You know, you run out of things to say while concentrating. You know, you're trying try to remember what I wanted to say. Because I've also done it where I've, you know, thought, oh, shit, I didn't say that. And I wanted to say, you know, it gets, the, does get stupid. But, yeah. But hopefully next year will be a better year, guys. I've got so much stuff I want to do, you know, because I've got a lot of hobbies I like doing, guys. But I ain't going to say too much about it because the simple fact is... I did that last year, and this year went shit. So next year, guys, I'm just going to say I've got a lot of stuff to gotta, gotta do if all goes well. That's what I'm going to say. The fuck? He got the same car as me, same colour and everything. He's rammed into me. He's jealous, that's what he's always jealous for, guys, because my car's newer than his. <laughs> Where is he? That's what you find him. So I said, guys, this game, you know, the AI, you know, you could have a lot of it, smash the freaking bike into my own. <laughs> you know, you, you can have a lot of fun with it because the AI plays, you know, as bad as you want them to play. You know, they can be dirty, you know, knock you to the wall and stuff, and that's, you know, it makes it fun. I'd love to see, like, get enough people in a lobby to be, you know, to see if you could play it normal, you know what I mean? actually get people to agree to race normal in the game with banger racer cars just to see like how bad you still dent and smash them up when you actually race under you know trying not to bash into each other and all that because uh, i'll be sure you know i still think you damage the car because as you can see the game's just meant to be reckless although saying that He's fucked, but him in front there, in the red one, black one, he ain't got no damage. What? How can you catch me with the wheels? He'll have damage in a minute, though, guys. Watch this. 
Yeah, now he's got some damage. Ooh. Hope he weren't planning on selling that. <laughs> Sparks. I don't remember Sparks before. I first knew I could have that. I can't remember Sparks being in the game. Well, then again, I've never raced on road ever. I've always been in the mud, so maybe they have been there. Uh, no. No, yeah. That's, that's your fault. How did I get wrecked? I didn't do nothing. Son of a bitch. Alright, guys, we're going to do that one one more time. And then we'll do an actual demolition derby. So, like I said, though, guys, you know, I don't want. I do like to keep repeating as many games as I can on the channel if I can help it. But, you know, what I. I do enjoy playing them, and if it's something that people know we can, I could do that. I just said I was going to do that one again, didn't I? And it took me off it. Right, we'll do this one then, guys, and then we'll do the um, the actual derby. Now, what car should I be? Obviously, I've got a few. All right, let's try the Star Beast. And then we'll do a demolition derby race, and then I think we'll call it it for there, because you know, because all I'm gonna keep saying, guys, is this game's awesome. This game's awesome. This game's awesome. This game's awesome. And it is to me. It is you know, you're gonna get some people out there that's like this game's shit. Well, you know, it's their opinion. Their opinion. Their opinion. Yeah, that's my opinion. Is it's fucking awesome. But, you know, I mean, I'm going to be putting up some new gameplay, obviously, of the new Call of Duty when I get it. Uh, looking forward to that. I mean, uh, you know, you get people saying Call of Duty shit, Call of Duty shit, Call of Duty shit. But at the end of the day, you know, I like it. But then I like Battlefield at all. I'm not worried. I hate people that have to divide something. Oh, Battlefield's better. That is better. Nothing's better. they just got different, you know, in what they do. I mean, they're both first-person shoot games at the end of the day. I wonder when they're going to bring out a new Battlefield, because they haven't brought Battlefield 5, and I haven't even beat Battlefield 5, guys. I've done, like, hardly anything on that game. I might have to get into that again and finish it. I haven't even finished Battlefield bloody 4. I know, guys, bad. Ooh, that bad, man. I was trying to spin him, but I couldn't. Oh, he's going. Yep. Nope. No hands, man. No hands on the steering wheel. Don't need them. I've just realised I'm not even on the bloody track. That's not seriously put me back. Yeah, it has. Right on that, guys. Free run, free run. Who put that there? I think it was I saw it as well, but I thought he was still running, so I thought I'll take him out, but chances are he was already taken out. No, I've just probably put him in a position where he's gonna get rammed with those more, so at the end there I'll take those more out. The only other game I know that's as good as this but was ahead of its time in its day was Flat Out, the original Flat Out 1. Uh Flat Out 2 was alright, and then they started to get a little bit stupid. Flat Out 4 is the worst out of them all. I've got that on PS4. And, uh, yeah, that's not the best. I've actually got a gameplay of that. If you want to see it. And then on PlayStation 2, Driven to Destruction. That's another one that had a really good uh, bag of racing vibe that I really enjoyed. I know another game, though, guys, that I, I really enjoyed on PlayStation 2. But the second one really spoiled it. And that was Stuntman. Fun was absolutely awesome and obviously for its day was really really good but then when stuntman ignition came out i felt that the physics went the opposite way and it made it more arcadely style and shit and it just it was just shit like when you crashed the cars it didn't dent it bounced as well when the arena and that I thought that game was absolutely shit and um yeah, I think I've actually got a PS3, but I think that overall, if they would have gone, I think it was a completely different developer, to be fair, from the first 
stunt man to the second one with ignition. I think THQ made ignition, and I think I don't know who made the other one, but that was a lot better. That's a fucking glitch, huh? But yeah, they 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 uh, went backwards with that game. It would have been cool if they would have done a new stunt man today and maybe got the people that made this to do it because I think that would be so much better. But for Stuntman to work today, they really need to uh, abbreviate it in a different way. Because the uh, the la I mean, that's probably the wrong word to use or whatever. But it, but maybe this day last time, you know, the first one was about doing certain things for the, you know, making movies. They kind of did it in the ignition as well, but it was more shit. I feel like if they made a new stuntman, they should have two paths, you know, one where you are a stuntman for movie making, but the th other thing should be stuntman is in, like, arena stuntman, you know, where you motorbike with five or six people on it, go through some burning hay bales and the, the, the car jump and all of that, and if they did the damage like this to the car, you know, you, depends how you did it and stuff, or the two wheel round the track and all that, like, I think stuff like that could make that game really good, but then I get it. No, it's my opinion. They should add an, a um, a commentator to this game. That would have been cool. You know, whereas like, whoa, he smashed up. And I think that would have been uh, cool. Maybe they could strike for that for Wreckfest 2 or something. Ultimate wreckage, they could call it that, so that'd be an awesome day, wouldn't it? But if, if they was going to make a Wreckfest 2 for monster trucks, and they actually get to run over cars and stuff, you know, like that, like you were just sitting back in the day, then they should put in, like, you know, similar stuff to this, but add different vehicles again, more and more vehicles. I like it when they add to like muscle car like cars like this and like the uh, everyday sedans like your Ford Mondeo shaped cars and stuff like that, you know what I'm about? That just makes it better. I hate it when they're too modern looking. Like if they put the new style Mustang car shape in this, I don't think that would be as good in terms of damage denting and all of that. With these muscle cars look great. So, yeah, guys, that ended that bloody race. Right, we're going to do one more, guys, and then I think I'm definitely going to call it for the gameplay of this. So, we're going to do a uh, demolition race, or demolition derby sort of thing. And I'm going to actually do it in the car you start off with, so that'll be the original Mustang. I don't think you have to start off with that, though. I think that's what I chose, though. So it's been so long since I actually started the game. So, yeah, well, anyway, we are going to do that. If I could find the one I want to do, which I believe is this one, isn't it? Hang on. No, this one. Right. And my original car is up here. Here it is, the rocket. Which is really the Mustang. So, we're going to see if we can actually survive this and at least come on the uh, podium to the third, second or first. I don't know why I had to explain that to people, you know bit of a dumbass myself for that, because I think everyone knows what podium means. I don't know, guys, sometimes, I tell you. It just, just comes stupidly, naturally stupid to me. You know? <laughs> oh, I thought I heard someone in at the door. But there's no one there. Get that a lot, no? Wow, some of the loaded toys are a bit slow on here and all the best part from that. It's just fun, guys. Fun, fun, fun. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to try and avoid hitting everything I can so I can at least win this. It won't work, though, because they actually come after you, as you can see. The maker is pain. I like the fact I did the skulls on this car. New, 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 new. Mine's got to be in showroom condition. Whoa! Shit, man, he's right in showroom condition. Where's he going? 
We could do this, guys. We could do this. It might look boring, but trust me, we could do this. We could do this whole race without being... Damn it. No, you can't. you got to have contact. Oh, crap. I've got to hit something. All right, we'll tap him. We'll just tap him. Go and start again. That's not a bloody tap. Oh, the drunk man's tap. I don't lose my bloody bonnet and everything. I didn't even. Oh. How did I miss him? I don't know. Where's the hell he is? I got slammed. Oh, let's reverse into him. He stole my fucking wreck. Right, hang on. I've got my eye on him if I can actually miss. Fuck. Also, guys, sorry about the swear. I just. I know, I always apologise for it because at the end of the day, some people don't like it. But it, you've got to understand, it just comes out, guys. Take it with a pinch of salt, people. Take it with a pinch of salt. There's a lot worse people out there, you know, than the words I use. Holy shit, look at the side of my car. Well, what side of my car? I've already got 6% left. No. So much for showroom condition. Can my last hit be one that takes someone out at least? I see someone. Shit! He already took himself up before he hit him. So technically he just laughed at me. Fuck it. Alright guys, we'll do it one more time. One more time and then that's definitely going to be it. I'm going to end it there, so, you know. We're going to go balls to the walls, just go for it this time. Minus nine health from the first hit. Right the front of my car. Yep, just do this. This is a tactic. This is a good tactic, I think. Maybe. As I'm constantly hitting people, but not using much of my health, though. Wait a minute. It yeah, don't really matter if you use your front or your back to just oh you broke my skeleton's leg. To be boy, and we're out. Damn it. So, yeah, guys, like I said, I guess you know, I've got to say, a giggle, she's coming, it's coming. Wait, don't break yourself. This game is awesome, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, if you do want to, you know, if you haven't played Wreckfest yet, I would imagine everybody has by now, but if you haven't, guys, you, you know, you're not sure about it, is it worth the money? You can see from this gameplay, guys, it's definitely worth the money. It's a hell of a game, it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, a lot of the vehicles you can unlock from doing the career mode. Then obviously making money and going on and so forth. As you can see, there's a lot of tracks. And obviously when you click on it, there's more variations of that one track. So, you know, there's not like there's not a lot to do in the game. There's so much to do in the game. I haven't, I actually don't own all the cars at the moment. And I've got all them cars. I don't know anymore. Some of them are DLC. Um, and some of them obviously are not. A lot like, you know, you can go to the market here and buy cars. As you can see, I don't own this. Don't own these ones. These are the only ones I don't own. So, when I get these, then I own them all. Look at that. It's like the Christine car, isn't it? It's the, it's the Bel Air. And then there's the Boomer. I like the shape of that, that looks quite fun. Looks like I have some good denting points. And then there's the Firefly, which again, really, really awesome. But 
bit ugly, but looks like it'll be fun to smash it up. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, like I said, um, it is an amazing game. It is a lot of fun. If you love games like Destruction Derby or, you know, the old style games like that, or, you know, Flat Out or anything like that, I would say Wreckfest, but this is Wreckfest, see? Then I, I can't see why you're not going to like this game because it's a lot of fun. It's going to be one of them games that I keep forever. It's just amazing. I play it, like I said, weekly. And I have a lot of fun playing it because it's just unpredictable. You might win the race, you might finish the race, you might not. You know, it depends on you and how you play. And, you know, I'm just fuck it, gun it, floor it, and see what happens, sort of person. So I barely make it off lap two. But it's a lot of fun. It's so much fun, guys. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, as I was, I have got Ride 4. Um,. I will be doing some gameplay on it. I haven't unboxed it yet. I don't know if I'm going to actually unbox it. Unbox it. Might do, might not do, guys. Don't know. If you see gameplay on it, then you know I've already unboxed it. But if we don't, then you know I might do an unboxing of it. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, you know, um, trying to think what else is going to play. I can't even remember now. But there will be other gameplays coming up. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm butchering this, guys. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, it's, it's what it is. Yeah. What do you expect? I'm an idiot. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, all I can say is gameplays because there will be more coming up on the channel. I really am enjoying playing a lot of these games. So if I don't enjoy it, I will tell you. Um, like I said with um, MX uh, All Out, or whatever, that was shit. That is a shit game. It's bad. But this game, guys, I can't recommend it enough. I really can't. It's amazing. I really hope for more games like this or at least a Wreckfest 2 to be announced. Um, even if it's not coming out yet or a really long time yet, you know, it'd be nice to know they're actually thinking about making another Wreckfest because this game is just that much fun for me. And I'm hoping they keep the damage and the and the way the cars handle, you know, they feel heavy-ish, you know what I mean? Like a real car. It's really, really much fun. You know, it doesn't feel arcadey at all. It feels fun to play and I love it. So, yeah, and every car does handle different as well. So that's another good thing to, to note. Like, like small cars are like you know like it's like a bouncy ball and big cars they slide more and heavy vehicles and that so you know a lot, a lot of fun a lot, a lot of fun but anyway guys i'm not gonna bore you anymore with my bollocks talking and talking shit i'm gonna end it here guys thanks for watching thanks for the people subscribing thanks for the people commenting i do get back to you as soon as i can and uh that's all i could pretty much say guys thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one